Welcome, welcome everybody. Welcome to beautiful Alaska and the China Hot Springs. Now we're gonna go ahead and explore the last frontier. So let's go. We are now heading up to the China Hot Springs, up Route 2. We're gonna go ahead and get in the Hot Springs outdoors. What do you think? It's gonna be a blast. I've heard so much about it, I can't wait to check it out. getting ready to go into the Aurora Ice Museum. They have award-winning ice sculptures in there, so there's gonna be all kinds of cool things, and they serve an apple teeny in a glass of ice. Pud. <laughs> Number one, please do not touch any ice sculptures. As your hands are warm, ice is cold, they will melt, deteriorate, we have to replace them. Number two, shouldn't have to be said, but I say it anyways, because I've been here for two weeks. I kicked somebody out in my first tour by myself for licking the ice. He wanted to see what ice tastes like. That's not a joke. Guess they have a problem with licking the ice. <laughs> Right here I have the Coca-Cola Polar Bear. A few years back, Coca-Cola and China Hot Springs were trying to come to an agreement where Coca-Cola would be given down the ice museum. However, when you put Coca-Cola in 24 degree weather, what happens? It explodes. So Coca-Cola came in, took the Coca-Cola bottle right out of the bear's hand. They took their Coke, we kept the bear. That's the story of the polar bear. If you're really daring, you can rent yourself a room right in the Ice Hotel, where it's Christmas year round. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. That's good. 
about so that. basically the thought process is about six years ago you had a couple that got engaged inside the ice museum they came up with the idea that you take your martini glass you blow a wish into it and smash it on the ground and hopefully all your dreams can come true so we're here right now i'm going to steal the camera and videotape your host for his tv show youtube show whatever you want to call it <laughs> smashing their their ice glasses and hopefully their wishes come true my name's sam i've been your tour guide Ladies first. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> hey Sam, can I wish for more wishes? You only have one glass. <laughs> and that's what you call a China Hot Springs debauchery. Thank you so much. You guys have a great day. Shaka Rap. the china hot springs we are in the restaurant so we're going to enjoy a nice meal we'll share with you what we're having and hope you enjoy it i have a raspberry colada made with alaskan raspberry vodka mm, delicious all right i'm having an alaskan brewery in juneau they're from it's called the Alaskan Amber. <laughs> nice. That's a real good sweet amber. You're gonna like it. What is up? Alaskan King Crab. Alaskan King Crab. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. I am having wild Alaskan salmon with rice, fresh vegetables. Oh, it smells so good. That is absolutely delicious. So fresh. I'm having the Alaskan King Crab. When you come to Alaska, you got to try the King Crab. Alaska does not disappoint. What we are doing is we are heading to the hot springs. It's about 30 some odd degrees out here right now. <laughs> Just a we're, we're in shorts. <laughs> we're insane. <laughs> so, but they say I could swim outside and the water's 104 degrees. So here we go. <laughs> oh, hey. We are at the China Hot Springs. These hot springs have been around for decades. The miners discovered them and they learned that they have healing powers. So even though it would take them weeks or months to get up here by either dog sled or train or whatever they did, they came. They're awesome, 104 degrees. 32 degrees outside. 
Beautiful, <laughs> beautiful. All right, we did strike out in Fairbanks looking for the Aurora Borealis Northern Lights. So we drove north and now we are in Sheena Springs. It's around 7.15. Sun should be going down soon. And we're in the chase for the Northern Lights. Spreading the Iditarod. She's a hard worker. <laughs> oh, look at the sugar. <laughs> Break here for if there's moose up on the trail, um, or you got an emergency break, or you need to stop them when they pull into the yard because that's pretty hard for them too. Yeah. Awesome, yeah. So the Iditarod started uh, based off of that 1925 serum run uh, when the kids of Nome came down with the epidemic of diphtheria and they needed to get them the medicine. Uh, but at the time, the governor issued an order that said no planes could fly because at the time, planes were open cockpit and they thought that the pilot would freeze to death in the sky and crash, losing the medicine before he would make it to Nome. So they had to come up with an alternative and they decided that dog teams would be the best way to do that. So they sent the medicine on the train from Anchorage up to Nanana, which would, on this map is kind of not great, but right about here. Um, and then 22 different dog teams ferried it over to Shack Tulip, where Togo picked it up. Togo brought it to safety, uh, passed it off to Balto, and Balto completely Hot Springs. Four years ago, Bernie, who owns Sheena Hot Springs, and the owner of that plane made a bet. You did not land the plane on that active runway behind you. So the day of the the day came, the guy circled overhead three times, took a look at it, decided that I'm gonna try to land the plane here. So just like how a plane lands on an aircraft carrier, when the wheels hit the deck of the boat, the pilot puts it in full throttle, hoping that his little hook catches the cables, and if he doesn't catch it, the plane just takes right back off because he's at full throttle. That's what this guy did over here. He put it at full throttle. It's like, yeah, I don't want to keep this plane, I made a bet. Bernie's gonna buy my plane. So he threw his plane in reverse, blew out every single engine on that plane, and it landed right where there's a half a tree right there. It's that for Hi, we are in the greenhouse in Sheena Hot Springs. It is geothermally heated in here through the water from the hot springs.
Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you so much for spending your time with us. If you did like what you saw, please hit that like button. Also, leave us a comment. We'd also appreciate you subscribing and ring that bell for notification of future videos. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Please join us next time as we continue exploring Alaska, the last frontier.